Trelawney Kendrick. I'm here today from Kaiser University to talk to you all about magnetic renaissance imaging, which is also known as an MRI. The purpose. The primary purpose of Magnetic Renaissance Center is to provide diagnostic and conservative services to doctors and patients by use of Magnetic Renaissance. According to the dictionary.com, an MRI is a technique performing detailed images of internal organs and tissues. It works by putting the patient inside of a magnet, then using radio waves to locate atoms in the tissue. The final production of the images will be done on a computer. The objective, prepare for the exam. Patients will be asked to complete a questionnaire which may ask about metal objects the patient may have their body, the patient may have in their body, including metal implants, cochlear ear implants, also any artificial joints. Etc. Continuing to prepare for the exam, the patients may be asked to take off any metal or metal materials. Patients may be allowed to leave their clothes on if there are no metal objects in the clothing. An IV port may be inserted at this point for gadolinium contrast administration later. Some patients get nervous during their exam and they may require a sedative. The patient can either bring their own sedative or the MRI center usually has sedatives for the patient. Sometimes patients are often given earplugs. Sometimes the earplugs also have music in them to help the patient calm down prior to the exam. After the patient is prepared for the exam, the scanning will begin. The technicians will let you know in each sequence how long the scanning will last. For instance, he might say, this part should take about two minutes Usually the last part takes about 20 seconds to three minutes. The technician is always in touch with the patient, either verbally or over a microphone, while the patient is in the magnet, just to also make sure that the patient is okay. The machine itself can be very loud. You may also experience some vibration. After a sequence, there will be a short break five or ten seconds or so, then the technician will ask you, or rather tell you, how long the next series of your test will last. Halfway through the exam, if you need to be injected with any other substance like such as the gadolinium, you'll be injected through IV with a syringe. It usually feels a little cold when going through. Some stinging may occur, but only for a short period of time. Some patients have reactions to the gadolinium. In this case, a radiologist always has to be on site just in case there is a reaction. How long will it last? The duration depends on whatever test that was ordered by the doctor, whatever body parts that the doctor is requesting the exam on. Sometimes there are, the, sometimes the, the test will be scanned on the brain, the whole body, the spine, Whichever, whichever is probably the case, if this is your first scan, some scans may require the gadolinium, which I just spoke to you about. The gadolinium helps the radiologist see a better picture of the tissue or organ that may be affected. Patient services is also a part of the MRI exam. Whatever facility you attend, the expected goals from the procedure will be to provide expert radiological and ther therapeutic consultation to the referring physician, <coughs> the physician that referred you there, or the specialist. Also to provide clinical dictation experience for the fellows and the residents or students that are at the MRI center. A lot of the students there or the techs that are there, they are in training, so this also helps them as well. Also to provide and maintain protective policies, measures for patients and personnel in regards with MRI safety. The reference of the day with the information that was brought to you today was from dictionary.com and also an article that was retrieved, what to expect during an MRI exam. Thank you.